DCP Player Free. Get it now from digital.net.au. Uh, Mike, getting there. We're almost there. there okay. We go. Hi, I uh, run a single screen at a university in New Jersey, and um, our system's based on simulcasts with the Met Opera. So we take satellite feeds and broadcasts in 1080i um, every few Saturdays. But, you know, we have academic programs that want to watch films that are only released by Sony Pictures Classic this week. We showed a 35 millimeter print because I didn't have a DCP player. So for an outfit like mine where, you know, it's not worth the $20,000 plus for a DCP player, do you see efficacy in using these software-based players? Have you seen single screen theaters or others using them? I mean, there's a couple exhibiting here. Um, that, that's worth it. And will that solve the upgrade problems that exist if I just do it, you know, download a new version on my really good computer workstation that happens to have a good video card? So one of the issues with a lot of the software players is that they don't support some of the security features that are required for the exhibition environment, such as the, the watermarking technologies. This presents a huge barrier. Uh, to getting major studio feature content. Um, it's a problem we deal with on a very regular basis uh, and, and something that I think is, is gonna be a challenge. Uh, we're, we're trying to set up our key generation system in the back to be able to support hosting these, these certificates, but <clears throat> until we do a significant amount of work, uh, it's all in or all out, uh, and, and we can't support bringing any software devices into that environment. Yeah, especially if the studio doesn't support it, um, they're not going to let us to del deliver content to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not aware of a studio that supports software players, uh, except for uh, certain limited circumstances. Yeah, uh, generally just, for just internal yeah. use only. Yeah. I'll, I'll just say, <clears throat> make a comment on that. My, my company, Digital, actually has a product called DCP Player Free, which you could actually download and run on a, a laptop or a PC that will allow you to play <coughs> non-encrypted uh, digital cinema packages. And you're not going to ever see a major studio of the six ever releasing anything that isn't encrypted that will ever play on a software-based player, in my opinion. That's never going to happen. But you will see some stuff out of Europe. You will see alternate content that becomes available. So there might be some things you can get. But um, certainly, from my understanding, the politics of DCI are that it must be a secure media block yeah. that must play the content, and via that, you will never see anything software-based perform that function. Yep.